when you buy your dream home, will you put money towards renovations and making it your own or will you keep investing your money elsewhere? This is a really good question. Um, and I, I, I answer this question in a number of ways. Um, the type of person that I am is that uh, I don't buy brand new cars and I typically will never buy a brand new house uh, or extensively renovate a, a property. Um, and the reason for that is that whenever you're doing that, uh, you run the risk of overcapitalizing on the investment. Now, I'm a simple man, uh, I have simple means, and uh, I, I know what I want in terms of my property. Uh, I obviously want it to look uh, nice and be, and, and be very homely and, and enjoyable, but I'm not the type of person that's going to invest hundreds of thousands of dollars in renovations, um, given the stress, the anxiety, uh, all of the fires that you've got to put out. It's just not something that I get enjoyment out of. Um, Sam, on the other hand, he loves to swing a hammer around his head. <laughs> um, so I'm sure he, he would get, get lots of kicks out of doing that kind of stuff. Um, something that I would do, however, um, is build a granny flat if I had a property big enough uh, to get dual income. Um, so to answer that question, I would probably prioritise investing. Um, and of course, you can have the ability of getting the best of both worlds if you've got a property that allows you to do that. But myself personally, uh, I wouldn't go through the, the heartache of, uh, of renovating uh, and trying to manage that entire process. I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs>